in the second Prescott promo clip, I'm going to create an appropriately named paragraph style that will be dedicated to the function of just moving things up and down on the page uh, by adding some variable spacing. I'm also going to show how to uh, add kerning and uh, condensing to display type. Display type is any type like this that's larger than your normal body text, which is usually, you know, uh, 9 to 12 points. I like to put kerning on any type that's more than 14 points. So uh, I might make a few other little tweaks to get this to look exactly like what's in the book. So let's get started. Uh, first thing is I need to put a little space here. I've uh, reduced the margin so I know it won't kick it over to the next page. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a paragraph and I'm going to change that paragraph to body text. Uh, I'm then going to change it with direct formatting up here on my home tab. I'm going to go up to, uh, well, i got to get the home tab there. Um, I want to reduce the size of the tab to minimum, make it 8 point, because the whole point is to, to move this up and down, uh, use it to move things up and down. And on the paragraph tab, I'll go up and make sure I don't want any space here. At least three point is fine. Uh, if you want to be a little more exact, you just put a number there, say it's exactly ten points. So whenever you insert that style, at least uh, as a default, you know it's adding exactly ten points. It might be good to choose a unit like six points, which in multiples, uh, you can pretty much get any combination that you might want. Um, okay, All right. having done that, I want to select that paragraph mark and I want to change the name, create a new paragraph called uh, Spacer Empty. Alright, and that takes care of that. Section break. Uh, let me switch back to my. Let me switch off my. All my marks that create all that noise. Maybe go to the uh, full layout view. Okay, so that that empty paragraph is there. It created a little more space here, and that's what I wanted. Okay, the next thing I want is. The book says this is actually supposed to be 36, but uh, Charlotte couldn't make it that because that would kick it over to two lines. However, if you go to the title style, say modify, um, again, our tab is character spacing on the font menu. Uh, she has some condensing on it, but for a typeface like this, you can see in the window that lets you preview, there's still quite a bit of space between most letters. I think we could go up to two. I think we need to turn the kerning on always for display type above 14 points. Uh, and even 14 points is fine. The kerning is not that tight that you'd worry about it. Um, okay, so now this looks much tighter. And if I wanted to give a try to make this 36 points, see if that'll work, to put it exactly like what the book says in the final design was. It works. Now, we may not like it, but um, we're trying to clone this thing. Uh, I forget what the book said this is, but it looks a little small now that that's larger. So, subtitle, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to go to the format, character spacing. I'm going to put some condensing on it. Not as much. One's fine. I'm going to say kerning. Again, 14 and above. Um, and I'm going to change this to 18. Okay. Same for here. Uh, I'll let you do that on your own, but just remember when you put condensing on a script face like this, you can't put very much on, uh, if any. Uh, but you might want to tighten it up just a little bit. Uh, the other thing is this has to be changed to italic uh, to conform to the book's model. And that's about it. Okay, good job.